What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different and I'm going to be helping my son install a car stereo in his 2006? Yeah. Yeah, 2006 Scion TC. Uh, the cable that was running to his phone allowing him to play through the iPod on his phone has gone bad. So we're gonna hook up the stereo today and I'll show that to you now. So this is the stereo we're gonna be installing. It's the Kenwood DPX504 with Bluetooth. So he's really excited about getting this installed. The first thing we're going to be doing is wiring up the harness. We picked up a universal harness so that he can retain his factory wiring harnesses and we're going to hook up the harness that goes from the stereo to that harness. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and remove the harness for the Kenwood. You're going to need a wire splitter because the ends are not ready and then you're going to need a pocket knife to get into the universal the nice thing about the universals is they come already stripped ready to go so i'm going to show him how to hook up the first one and let him do the rest all right Generally, I prefer to have them crossed. It has a little bit extra wire from where we stripped it on the um, radio harness, but you can just take it and bring it in and make sure that you have a really good connection. Fold the wire over on itself, and then you'll take your electrical tape. So just wrap it nice and tight. Make sure that there's no wire exposed because you do not want these to touch behind your dashboard. So just repeat that process with your other wires and then we'll move on to the actual installation. One other thing to pay close attention to when you do get to the color match is to make sure that you look for your positive and your negative wire and make sure that you match them up correctly. So as you can see here, this one actually has a black stripe going through it and that's your negative. And then your solid white to solid white, that's going to be your positive wire connection. Just make sure that you're matching those up when you put these together. All right, so we're inside the car. And what it looks like, and I'm going to verify that, looks like you need to take this panel off to get to the actual factory stereo. We'll remove those. And then I'll show you where the bolts are so that you can get a better idea in case you're looking at it specifically for the Scion. Okay, so we actually had to remove the accent around the shifter. So we just took it, put it in neutral, and removed that to get it out of the way. We were able to remove the rest of the panel. You'll be removing these two bolts, and then these two bolts back here. Let me get it in there close. That'll allow you to pull the whole unit out, and then we'll be able to switch the unit out. With the actual unit removed, you're going to want to repurpose the sides and you'll look in the included package with the stereo for the appropriate bolt hole size in the event that the ones that are on the factory don't fit they could very well fit but you will need to check your particular unit so fortunately for my son these actually fell right into place and we were able to use the factory screws with the integrated washers so those fit perfectly they dropped into place and we did a test fit in the hole and it actually is angled correctly in every way so we're going to put the other bracket on we'll go ahead and plug in the harness and we'll show you what that looks like with the antenna and everything so you know where everything goes back just in case okay now once you have everything back in place you should be able to plug in your antenna in this case the kenwood is on the opposite side plug up the Kenwood harness to the Kenwood radio and then you'll plug in your rear speakers and you'll plug in your front speakers and power hookups to the factory harness. Uh, in this case he had steering wheel control that's not hooking back up so you will have extra so don't panic when that happens. At this point you should be able to cut everything on. You want to cut it on? 
you should be able to see that you have power and confirm that everything works before you button everything back up. So we're gonna do that now. All right, so it's powering up, as you can see. Select your language, press the volume knob. So follow the instructions and go through for your radio. Um, we're gonna pick English, unless you want it to be in Spanish. No, I'm okay. <laughs> um, press the volume knob. Cancel the demo. Demo is off. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and finish installing everything. And then we'll set the time, the date, and adjust the volume, bass, treble, all that good stuff. Well, I guess not the volume, just the bass and the treble. Yeah. All right, so everything's hooked up. We just went through the rest of the settings. I just wanted you guys really quick to see uh, that it lined up really well. This is the harness for the climate control. So we're going to go ahead and get all of that set back up, button it up, and then we'll give you one final look of everything installed. All right, guys. So this is the final install product in his little Scion. It looks pretty good. It's sitting where the factory radio stood. So his little factory Scion cover still works with it and everything. So there's clearance. So that's nice. So like if he's parking somewhere and he doesn't want anyone to see what he's got that'll still work he has it on the scroll color so it just changes colors as he goes but um, very vibrant colors not that this is about the Kenwood but I think it looks really good even though you can see the reflection of the camera right now but that's it um, hopefully that was helpful to some of you guys and it was a little bit different from the stuff that I normally do but I kind of like to capture all this stuff to give you something different and maybe be helpful to others as well that's it. Thanks. Peace.